to fling my arms wide in some place in the sun. I'm Richard Hurd, lyric tenor. I'm on the faculty at Wake Forest University where I am associate professor of music. I've been teaching there since 1996. How, how long have you been singing? I started singing as a, as a child in, in choirs and church. So it's kind of hard to remember the exact number of years, but many. Oh, approximately what age did you start singing? 13. 13, okay. And what is your inspiration for this album? I think my inspiration is, is all the beautiful songs that are kind of undocumented and not recorded of, of this particular composer. Uh, it's been my inspiration to record a, a CD of Florence Price songs for many, many years. And so now the reality is no longer a dream, which incidentally is going to be the title of the CD. And so tell us a little bit about Florence Price. What, what do you know, what may we not know about her? Well, Florence Price was born in Arkansas uh, and later in life moved to the city of Chicago. And she's really well remembered for having her first symphony, which was in E major, performed by the Chicago Symphony in 1933. And, you know, she's written over 300 songs and, and chamber works and uh, orchestral works. Uh, but chiefly, she's remembered for this one major piece, which is the symphony that she composed, and an assortment of uh, spirituals, particularly uh, My Soul's Been Anchored in the Lord, which was sung uh, many times by Marian Anderson, Lindine Price, and all the singers of that period. So, <clears throat> with uh, Florence Price uh, being the com primary composer of this album, um, what is your love for her? Or, or why did you select her out of all of the, the composers that you could have selected? I selected her songs because of the beautiful melodies that she composed and arranged, and also the, the wonderful poetry that, that's used in her works. And those are my two chief reasons for selecting her music. And I did a lot of research in Arkansas and found that she was such an humble person, very warm. So I thought, what better way to show tribute to this wonderful composer than to record her songs. Where are some of the other places that you have sung before, uh, especially places that you just deem your favorites? Well, I've made several trips to Germany uh, performing spirituals. Uh, I've sung at, I think, at least 50 universities in, in this country. Uh, but I don't have really any memorable ones because they've all have been very, very special to me, especially after a concert and someone comes up and says that I really did move them with my performance of this song you know, or that song. And I get a lot of gratification out of that, pleasing the audience. Is this your first CD? This is my second CD. The first one was titled Ain't of That Good News. And so now we'll have a dream about 12 years later. And what genre um, is the first CD? It's all African American art songs and spirituals, as well as this CD. I feel it's music that the world needs to hear, and many of our African American artists are not always publicized, particularly uh, African American women composers. So it was just another, again, a dream of mine to uh, showcase some of their works. And Florence Price is one of the, the biggies in that genre. Who is uh, producing um, your album, especially the first one and the second one? I have this wonderful producer by the name of Valerie Johnson, who is on the faculty at Bennett College. Such a wonderful producer, and by the way, she's also an excellent singer. On this uh, CD, My Dream, I, I'm being collaborated, well, with this time, I'm being collaborated. Um, my accompanist is Dr. Roy Belfield, who was formerly on the faculty at Winston-Salem State University, but is now teaching at the University of Maryland, Eastern Shore. Where are, you, where are you recording your CD? This will be recorded at Sound of Art Studios, which is uh, co-owned by Valerie Johnson and Rasheen Pugh. Where is it located? In Greensboro. When we're sitting down listening to this right, across the country as people sit down to listen to it, what do you want them to take away from the, the album? I want them to leave with a message and also I think being moved by the lyrics being moved by the beautiful melodies that they're going to hear in the vocal line and also in the wonderful accompaniment. Out of the south there was soft sweet wind oh, and on its breath was a song of fields and flowers and leafy boughs 
and bees that hum all day long. Out from the south blew a soft low wind. Ooh. On its wings was the joy of a dream. 